In December, I found myself with a 15-hour layover in Taipei, so I decided to get out of the airport and try Taiwan's high-speed rail system. After a long 14 and a half hour flight from Los Angeles, we touched down about 6 o'clock in the morning in Taipei. I went to the EVA Airways Lounge, had a chance to shower, freshen up, and get a bite to eat, and then proceeded through immigration. Downstairs, I found the number 705 bus, which shuttles you to the Taoyuan high-speed rail station, about 10 minutes away from the airport. The ticket for the bus cost 30 New Taiwan dollars, or about $1 U.S. Arriving at Taoyuan Station, you find a building that, from the outside, isn't terribly impressive. The station is located right next to the under-construction Taoyuan MRT Blue Line station, which will eventually link Taipei directly to the airport. Inside of the station, you find a variety of interesting amenities, including check-in counters for EVA and Uni Air, as well as a Starbucks, actually a feature available at all of the stations on the high-speed rail, except for one. There are both self-service ticket machines, as well as ticket counters. I used the ticket counter, and within just a couple of minutes, had myself a pair of round-trip tickets all the way to the end of the line, the city of Zhu Ying, which is just outside of Kaohsiung, and I apologize for my pronunciation there. The station inside is very modern, has lots of helpful signage, and it's easy to get around. Downstairs on the platform, there were helpful signs telling you where you needed to be based on your seat assignment. With the exception of three cars on the train, all of the seats are assigned. Your attention, please. Train number 617. Since the train I was boarding was coming from Taipei, it made only a brief stop in the station. Hurried to board and found myself in the essentially economy class cabin. It's a five abreast seating and it's very comparable to an airline cabin, except it's more spacious, especially in terms of leg room. The morning trip was quite full, probably close to 100%, and I was actually assigned a middle seat. After a couple of stations, though, the person sitting on the aisle got off, so I was able to move over. The interior of the train is quite comfortable, decorated for the holidays, as you can see. There are maps on the back of each seat, pointing out the various amenities in the 12-car train. These include things like vending machines and lavatories. Also noted that some of the cars had designated seating spots for passengers in wheelchairs. It took us about an hour and 40 minutes to get all the way to the south end of the island, a distance of approximately 280 kilometers, or about 180 miles. Our top speed along the way was close to 300 kilometers or an hour, or approximately 185 miles per hour. It was a smooth ride, and it was easy to get up and walk around without any difficulties. Once I arrived in Zuying, I had about a 30-minute wait before my return trip departed. I had a chance to look around the station, which, much like the Taoyuan station, is very spacious and modern inside. I took a closer look at the self-service ticketing machines, which are very self-explanatory, with instructions in both Chinese and English. The system uses automated ticketing gates, much like a conventional subway system, and they have both monthly passes as well as one-way or single-ride tickets. Heading back downstairs to the platform, I found a trio of sleek trains awaiting departure. Welcome to HSR Zoning Station. For your safety, pregnant women, children, elderly and disabled passengers, since this was the terminal station, our train was being cleaned, and we had to wait a couple of minutes. 
I noticed this humorous sign that appears on the platforms of all of the outdoor stations. I guess along this section of Taiwan it's quite windy. I would hate to lose my personal belongings. Before you knew it, we were heading back out. This was an express train that would only make three or four stops on its way all the way to Taipei. So the total time was just about 90 minutes. For the return trip, I opted to sit in their business class, which has a two by two seating arrangement. It was quite comfortable and only moderately more expensive than the economy class. As you can see, the leg room is quite nice. The seats featured electrical outlets, as well as a stereo system, which featured six or seven channels of music, including an English language channel featuring songs such as Hits by Lady Gaga. Nothing like listening to Bad Romance as you go speeding by the Taiwan countryside. The train also featured a snack service with attendants pushing carts up and down the aisles. In business class, there was a complimentary snack service featuring a hot beverage and also a bag of snack mix and also a small chocolate cake. As we sped along our way heading back into Taipei, I had to marvel that this is a pretty impressive technology, technology that I wouldn't mind seeing in other areas such as my home state of California or even here in Bangkok. Hope you enjoyed the journey. I certainly enjoyed sharing it with you.